Hello guys, this is Ryan with the Church Collective. I'm going to show you how we use Ableton Live 9 uh, to do our worship services. I know there's way more you can do um, than what we're doing, but right now we're just running clicks and uh, simple tracks. It's been doing well for us, uh, and hopefully this will be an encouragement to you. I can't stress enough how important it is for your team to uh, all use clicks in their ears. It just, it's going to raise the musicianship of your team um, so much. So hopefully you've purchased uh, Ableton and you're, you're wanting to get started. So I'll show you how we do what we do. This is our... Uh, master songs we just add songs every week to it uh, and then build from there I'll show you how we map out um, hotkeys and all that in a little bit but first off I want to show you one important button that has gotten some of our uh, team members uh, in trouble before when you hit these songs and start them they're gonna start playing um, but as you can hear there's no click this button right here is important um, when you turn this on then the clicks are gonna actually happen so make sure you have that on or if you're not hearing a click that's why you're not hearing it so um, it simply here's how, how we do this so we're doing one thing remains I'm gonna make a new um, a new uh, item here to command I makes another one it's gonna copy one but we're gonna make this new um, just for the sake of uh, showing you guys we'll make one thing remains again so you, what you do is you type it in um, and then what I do is I have planning center up here and I listen to the songs and as that song's playing I come over here to the tap and I, I just tap the beat out so one two three four So it, it takes a little bit to catch to it, um, but right there came in about 153. I know I tapped a little faster than I needed to. Um, so what I'm going to do is come in here and we'll just say it's 150 beats per minute. And then what this does, it'll tell Ableton to switch to 150 beats per minute. Uh, we tell it to, that it is in 4-4, and then we're ready to go. Um, over here, you're going to want to make sure to uh, insert a MIDI clip. This lets your, your click go. So as you click, you've got one thing remains, ready to go. Um, another thing that we do is uh, import songs into here. So say we're going to do We Rejoice. This is already in here, but I'll do it again. Again, I'm going to press Command I for a new one. Um, now over here, we're missing uh, a little file. So you're just going to navigate to wherever your file is on your computer. Uh, and you're going to take it and just drag it into the, uh, the slot here. And it's going to fill the song in. And um, Ableton will figure out what it is. And now you'll have a song going. If you turn off the click, you can hear what the track's going to be. So we output the track on one side, uh, and we, we put the click onto the other side, and then we're ready to go with it. Um, so that's how we import uh, files. And from there, you're going to be pretty much ready to go. Um, we have this master list here every week, so you, it might be difficult to figure out where to go. Um, during the service, so what we do is we take the key button here. This lets me map keys. So say Be Lifted High is going to be my first song. I'm going to press the number one. Um, it's telling me that's already set for something else and say that's okay. We want it to be uh, for Be Lifted High. I'm going to make Come Like You Promise number two. Again, tell it, yeah, that's okay. Cornerstone will be number three. Um, and then, so what we've got now are three songs set to one, two, and three. So I press the key button to go back. Now when I press the number one, it's going to start be lifted high. When I press number two, it's going to start come like you promised. When I press number three, and I do cornerstone. And then I can always stop the track by pressing the space bar, uh, which is really good because the moment you press the button, it's going to start to the beat. So if your drummer's pretty sharp, you'll be able to have your drummer catch the beat um, and keep running with you. So uh, that's how we do it. I hope that was of some sense to you. If not, feel free to uh, catch me on Twitter, at Ryan Lochi. Um, get some questions or just come and uh, catch me in my office if you're at our church here and uh, hopefully I can give you some more training. Okay. God bless you.